it's a wonderful day to wander and as we're only a couple days away from the London Marathon we're not really supposed to be wandering very far. Fortunately though on our trip to dinner last night we stumbled upon this amazing looking market. Now we don't know too much about it but we knew that once we passed it we had to go back and explore and we're bringing you all along with us. Dash buddy, you ready for a little adventure? Yeah? Ready to explore? Take a whistle. Unfortunately for Lauren on this go around, they didn't have matcha. Um, so I just got a regular latte for myself. But um, welcome to Spitalfields Market, where you can find everything. A little bit of everything. There's food, there's fashion, there's just a plethora of options here. We're going to explore. Fortunately, this place is big enough to have a second coffee stand, so we're gonna go check for matcha. Yeah? Woohoo! Victory! Matcha latte. Ma you want money? I decided to be smart and start the pasta load. Race is coming up soon. <laughs> so good. It's pesto gnocchi. And it's homemade and it's amazing. I decided to go the not so smart route and get some Indian food. Hopefully not too spicy. With some vegetable samosas that I already started eating. I'm very excited about this. Not the smartest move, but it's gonna be delicious. Oh, that looks yummy. And 
Dash loves focaccia. Is that yummy, dude? Mostly he just cares that there are pigeons over there. Yep, Dash's favorite bird right there, y'all. Was lunch delicious, dude? But yes, and so is the pigeon viewing. Such good food. We should have been eating there every single day. I'm pretty sure you'd have to eat there every single day for a year to adequately like get to try every single one of those food vendors in there. There's so many of them. I mean, that sounds like a good food challenge to me. <laughs> we just don't, we're not here long enough, but. Nope. I would do that. That's fair. All right, we have passed this place a couple of times and it looks like it's a fancy restaurant. But I mean, like, I just wanna go so I can walk through the door. So pretty. Okay, so I know I said that because it's almost race day, we're not really supposed to be doing a lot of wandering, but while Daniel and I are eating lunch, I talked him in to changing his mind about that. So, I mean, every single time we come to London, it's always like a quick weekend or um, like- Layover or something. We don't it's, ever end up doing anything like- That's true. It's traditional true. London. That's true. And so, what can be more London than going to see Big Ben and taking the London Eye? We have to do that. So? I mean, doing nothing like sitting on a train, sitting on a Ferris wheel, that counts, right? That's what we're gonna go do. <laughs> Dash, you wanna go do the Ferris wheel, don't you? Yeah, Ferris wheel! More steps, more steps, more steps, more steps. <laughs> we came back upstairs because Dash was really super sleepy and we figured it would be easier to let him take a nap before we went to go see the Linda and I. Now, Dash is wide awake and happy. Uh, but I checked to see if we had time to go to dinner before we would go to London night because I figured it would be really pretty to see it at night with the city all lit up. Uh, and I just checked their website and apparently the London night closed at 6 o'clock on Friday night, which I never in a bajillion years would have guessed. It is definitely past 6 o'clock and I bought tickets specifically for today. So that's pretty lame because they were like 100 pounds. But I sent a message to them on Instagram to see if the tickets can be moved today or two or three or four. Um, so fingers crossed that will come to fruition. But we figure we gotta go to dinner. And then once we get done with dinner, we have some prep work to do for the marathon. So we'll take you along to dinner because I think I found a really cool vegetarian restaurant that we can eat at. And then marathon prep. Ready, hey. Dash? Yeah, you want a mama? Just, yeah. Hi, baby. Yeah, that's like <laughs> 20 steps. Um, we should probably put your coat on and leave, dude. Yeah? You wanna come back with me? Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait right here, okay? Okay. Jacket? Jacket? Go, jacket! Come here! Dude, you your I think on. you got this oh. down. <laughs> I need to get your jacket on. You gotta get your jacket on, dude. Here, come here. <laughs> you hate like all things warm. Yeah, it does true. You hate all of the warm things. You hate all of the warm things. Come here. Come here. I gotta get your jacket on. <laughs> come here. I know you hate jackets. You hate hoodies. You hate everything. Ugh. There we go. Dash, those step skills are getting really strong, little man. <laughs> are you pretty <laughs> proud of them? He wants to walk all the time. Yep, there he goes. And He's... everywhere. <laughs> He's gone. Again. Like 
glass restaurant. Yeah, that little all glass bar back there, pretty cool looking, honestly. Um, it'd be pretty cool if it was like storming. I know it sounds crazy, but like it's completely glass. So, something different. Okay, apparently the restaurant we're looking for is on this like, circular looking thing that has a, a courtyard area in the middle. Um, looks to be very, very popular here. There's a lot of people hanging out. Everything on this menu looks ridiculously good and it smells awesome in here. So Dash, dude, what are you doing while we wait on our food? Are you pretending to not read mommy's book? He's sharing his book with the floor. Apparently there's somebody down on the floor that really wants to read this. So there you go. Right? <laughs> All right, I'm dissecting my mocktail so Dash can have the fruit. See, he's ready. <gasps> Orange. <laughs> you want a lemon, baby? Yes, please. True story, this child will literally eat everything. Only thing we figured out that he won't eat yet is blue cheese and a really spicy curry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the barbecue wings. This is uh, some what, cauliflower something something. And then the hummus. hummus. Where's the hummus? It's probably underneath all of that um, good stuff. Oh. It's a turmeric hummus. This is amazing. One of the things Daniel and I were talking about yesterday is that when you find a really good restaurant, it's all about like the layering of flavors in food, and they had that down to a T. Not to mention that we found a new favorite food of Dash's, pickled beets. What? You want to help Dada? Oh! All right, it is we have less than 48 hours. We've got tonight, we've got tomorrow night, and that's it. Uh, to get mentally ready to run this London Marathon. The training's done. The mental part is probably the most difficult aspect, at least for me personally, to get ready for. I don't really know how to explain it. You just have to get mentally prepared to enter the pain cave. But before race day, got to get a couple things ready. Right, Dash? <coughs> so at the starting line, we'll drop off some bags with our essentials. And the cool thing about that is that you pick up your this bag at the finish line. So what I'm going to have in there is a cell phone. I'm going to have our finisher jackets in there as well. Um, some pants because we'll be running in like half tights, so it'll be a little bit chilly. So it's nice to get warm after a long race like that. And that's about it. Yeah, so Dash, you wanna help get the bags ready? Yeah? Yeah. It's got his bib number on there, so I'll drop this off. 
in my starting area or corral as they're called. And then this is mommy's bag. So we gotta put the things we're gonna want after the race. So. The prestigious marathon jacket now. That is so orange. Everyone, not everyone, not everyone. A lot of marathon runners are a little super are, are superstitious and won't wear a finisher jacket like this until you've completed the race. We're the exact same way. Um, so I've got our finisher jackets here. We picked them up at the expo and I'm gonna put those in our bag so that when we cross the finish line, we get to put on our cool jacket. Lauren loves the bright orange. You never know what it's gonna look like, the colors, the materials, it changes for every race. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, if I'm running in this, I look like a, a, a road cone and you're probably not gonna <laughs> hit me. I mean, seriously, this is like road cone orange. It is you know? road cone orange. Right, it's like that bright. And it even has like a reflective stripe on the back here. So I kind of like it because I don't like to worry about cars uh, hitting me when I'm running, so. Yeah, that's fair. Right, so that's pretty cool. Rah! Um, Dash Ooh. is trying to help, but really he's just tossing things everywhere. <laughs> right, dude? <laughs> what are you doing? You wanna try my jacket on? <laughs> yeah? You wanna try daddy's jacket? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might take you some time to grow into that one, buddy. Did? There you go. <laughs> Daddy's jacket. <laughs> He's like, no thanks, Daddy. No? Well, they don't make a baby dash jacket. You have to run the marathon to get one of those, dude. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> baby dinosaur. He's just coming to say hello to mommy. Hi, <laughs> baby. <laughs> He's saying hello. Say, we're sleepy, aren't we? We're making daddy do all the work. <laughs> okay, daddy, so what's going to happen with for baby Dash while mommy and daddy run? Well, baby... Well, well, baby, while mommy and daddy are running the marathon, our really good friend Carrie and her family are going to be watching baby Dash. And they're going to be going, exploring some cool things around town. Hopefully we'll get some footage of that for you. Yeah, they promised that they would take some video of baby did. Dash's um, adventures. adventures. His London adventures while we're running. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's what Dash is going to be doing while we're running. Um, hopefully it won't take daddy all day and he can get back to Dash quickly, but... There are no guarantees. Um, as it stands right now, there's like a 85% chance of rain and it's expected to be in the low 40s, um, which means it's gonna be a bit brisk. So the plan for tomorrow is to find some throwaway clothes um, that we can wear to the starting area for the race. Um, it's a really cool thing. You, you, you wear these like uh, throwaway clothes or um, whatever you can find, I guess, at local shops and then you toss them before your race, you put them in these bins, and then they donate all of those clothes. Um, so that's pretty cool. Have we mentioned this baby is on the move? Um. <laughs> it's running everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Dash. So since it's about bedtime, what should we tell them? Can you say bye-bye? Say bye bye. Say, okay, we'll see you tomorrow. But until then, what should they do, Dash? Say, make sure to wander local. Because, the as you know, it's good for the soul. <laughs> <laughs>